That's the jackpot sign. The dialysis session is finished. <laughs> now, if it don't fall on my face, we're OK. Back in the States, okay. Ron is among the 20 million Americans suffering from chronic kidney disease. He's been going to dialysis three times a week for several months and counting. So that's actually about 94, yeah. After dialysis, Ron is too weak to drive. His wife, Arden, will take him home. It's not fun, this kind of thing. He's here four hours, so it's really hard. You get used to it a little bit. Are we ready? Bye, Ron. Thank you very much. If you go into a dialysis center and sit in that chair for five years doing nothing, that's what you're going to get, nothing, OK? Just put, get a kidney transplant. <laughs> so you have to be proactive. Here in the United States, we make a lot of money on transplantation. Why is going out of the country to buy a kidney less moral than going to a transplant center here. It's just how much you want to live. For Ron, like many Americans, going out of the country to get a kidney can mean breaking the law. The black market, it, it's like a, um, an underground of information. You know, if you're willing to take the risk, you can do it. If you have the money, you can do it. Let me get my stuff from the fridge. Uh. The poker is the one you work through, absolutely. You place one call, and they'll see if you're a viable candidate. As simple as that. Behave yourself. So that's my plan. So, OK, if I can't get it here, I will go out of the country. There's no question about it. And God help me. I hope I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> 